Well, another week begins. Here we are again. Same old problems. I don't know. And all the mainstream media can be bothered reporting and talking about incessantly is for uh, to talk about a bunch of absolute stinking perverts that work in the television industry. Yeah, they're just a pale imitation of the people that they would like to be, the Hollywood elite. Well, there's just, they're just as big a pervert, so at least they got that bit right. And politics itself. I mean, do you ever get the feeling that the biggest driving force, if you can call it a driving force, in British politics is sheer cowardice? Our politicians cannot and will not grow backbones or balls. For, for goodness sake, Starmer is the leader of the opposition. He couldn't oppose a dying, I don't know, he couldn't, he couldn't oppose anything. He's, he's totally incapable of opposition. And Sunak, he'll drive away from any problem. The only way to sort out the boats and by definition, the only way he will stay in power and the Tories will stay in power is by stopping the boats. And the only way you can do that is getting out of the ECHR. But does he want to upset the French or upset anybody else or these pressure groups? Does he want to uh, upset the civil servants? who are now taking over the country. Oh, if, uh, if we don't get our way politically, we're going on strike. Right, you go on strike, you get sacked. We bring in people to do their work underneath them because they're doing nothing anyway now as, as it is. So it's, it's the cowardice though. It's, it is the sheer, utter cowardice. They will not stand up to anything. As I say, Sunak will not stand up to the French, he won't stand up to the civil service, he won't stand up to the Supreme Court, he won't stand up to anybody. And he keeps putting in these um, silly, oh, now we'll, uh, we'll go across to France and we'll, we'll put posters up so that they, that, that they know that they're very, very naughty if they do come across here in boats, for God's sake. It's just another ploy to give him a few more days or weeks in power before, well, in a year's time, a year and a half's time, he's going to have to go to the polls. And by that time, he will find his time has run out. And what have we got backing him up? What have we got backing him up? Nothing. The, the people, the, there is Suella Braverman, and if he takes her down, the government goes down. He knows that, so he has to keep her there. There's just nobody else. And the opposition, as I said before, what about good old Starmer? Yeah. As soon as somebody says something stupid like, um, women aren't a gender or, uh, oh, I don't know what a woman is. I don't know. Oh, my goodness me. Somebody with their willy chopped off. I just don't know what a woman is. He doesn't know anything and he daren't. This is his problem. So what we've got on the one hand, what we've got on the one hand, we've got our friend Richie Sonak, who is frightened to cancel the ECHR or there are ways of actually negating it. We don't have to follow it. But no, he doesn't want to upset the French or the EU. Well, sooner or later, you have to. And, and, and that's the way it is. And that's the way it is. And what about Starmer? You know, I mean, now, now he's agreeing with every lunatic who shouts loud enough. He's terrified. He's even more terrified than Sunak is. They're just ballless, spineless non-entities who've come into politics because they find an easy way out the other end and set for life. Yeah. We've been politicians now, I've been prime minister, I've been leading the opposition. This means I can earn a fortune for the rest of my life going on tours and all the rest of it. Well, it ain't good enough and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to show them.